Commemorative stamps urging children to become more active. That's the idea behind a U.S. Postal Service Just Move stamp series. There's one problem. When the post office asked First Lady and health advocate Michelle Obama for support, her office objected, concerned the kids aren't wearing safety gear. We've learned now the stamps are just sitting at the printer in New York. It's not the White House's job to approve or veto stamps. We took the stamps to Congressman Blake Farentold, the chairman of the House Committee overseeing the Postal Service. His staff is now asking postal officials why the stamps were printed before the First Lady's blessing and how much it cost. Usually 20 million stamps are printed at once. The Postal Service is deeply in the whole financial hole and wasting money like this is not a good thing. Sources tell me the White House administration took issue with a stamp showing a skateboarder not wearing knee pads, a cannonball against the rules at many pools, and a child doing a headstand without a helmet. I wouldn't have thought about the security gear at all. That I wouldn't have wanted that to have the security gear on it. It would lose it would lose the impact of what each of the stamps is trying to say. The Postal Service could sell the stamps and risk Mrs. Obama criticizing them. They could destroy them at a huge loss. A Postal Service spokesman tells me there hasn't been a decision made. He says officials will have a better idea closer to the end of the year. In Washington, I'm Jacqueline Fell.